We have a steady rise in the numbers and the frequency of the earthquakes. This is the latest data we show that you can see here. Uh, we can find several clusters or centers of there for these earthquakes along the fissures in the Grindavik Rift Valley. This is the name I have given to this. First one is to the north and uh, near the Slingerfell, and the second one is the Hagerfell and Sundunka craters chain. And there is another one uh, just to the northwest and again west of the Grindavik. These are the locations that we may have eruption in future, even inside the Grindavik happened in the past we had it in the january 2024 so this is likely to have a repeat of that probably there is a probability for that and also the strength or the magnitude of the earthquakes have increased gradually you can see that from the june to august we have a negative part what's the meaning of negative part these are the very minor earthquakes this low, the scale of the earthquakes is in the logarithmic so every one magnitude is equal to 10 uh, in the strength uh, wise so what is whatsoever under the one is actually considered as negative this is a logarithmic scale any number under the one 0 0.5 for example gives a negative value this negative value just means that they are very tiny earthquakes and we are seeing the freak and the number of the earthquakes have increased steadily since the june when we had the last eruption stopped we are now in the august and you can see that the steady rise in that frequency of the uh, and the numbers of the earthquakes this is what the icelandic meteorological office has uh, mentioned 300 earthquakes since the monday actually this uh, this week monday and uh, we are having all of this data presented to you in this press release uh, magnitude 2 and most of them are below magnitude 1 these are very tiny earthquakes you can see that uh, the distribution of that in a rougher way you can see it here for one you know it's just a cross section in time just for that time today 12 20 for example that was the uh, situation with the earthquakes that we have on the ground you cannot see anything at the moment but it may change by any event any moment we may have eruption.